It's really important for legal reasons that you understand the different types of software and what you're allowed to do with them. In this chapter we're going to look at open source and proprietary software. Open source software is where you have full access to all of the software's source code and you are legally allowed to modify it however you like. You're just not allowed to sell it on once you've changed it. Examples you might be familiar with is Moodle for a virtual learning environment where you might use it in school to upload your work to. Mozilla Firefox is an internet browser which is also open source. Android is a very surprising one which is used on mo many different mobile phones. Open source has nearly always got a community of support and contributors where people add new features to it. Lots of people actually work on the software to make it better and to fix bugs. Proprietary software is where you can only see the final compiled code and you're not allowed to edit it in any way. The law and the software license stops people from editing, copying or sharing the software. Proprietary software is nearly always paid for, as in it costs money to buy. There are loads of big companies who make proprietary software. Most common ones are Microsoft and Adobe. Schools and businesses often use proprietary software because it has better customer services and less bugs. So, I've prepared a nice revision slide for you, which is, should be useful for you to remember all the advantages and disadvantages of the two different types of software. So, open source is usually free. It's adaptable, as in you can change it to whatever you want it to be. All different types of functions and features you can adapt and add it to customize it to whatever you want. Collaboration and contributors. This means that a lot of people in a community can support each other, contribute uh, new features and functions to make the software better, and can collaborate on bigger projects. Community of support is often used for open source software which means that you can get help if you're really struggling or if you have an error that you need to fix. The disadvantages of open source software is that there might be bugs that you find in the software that have not been picked up or not been fixed. It may lack security, there could be certain errors or glitches in the code that could be hacked. Uh, often there are limited user guides available as in, if you want to learn how to do something, you might not be able to find out exactly how to do it. There's no warranty, so if you do have any problems, you can't return the software or get any sort of help if something breaks. There's no official support, so people might help you in the community, but nobody has to. Nobody feels obliged that they have to help you. With proprietary software, the advantages are often the disadvantages of open source. For example, where open source software has no warranty, proprietary software always comes with a warranty. So if there's any faults or any problems, they have to help you repair them. They're often well tested, which means you'll find less bugs and less problems when using the software. It's also, even though you have to pay for the software, it's cheaper than trying to develop or customize your whole system yourself to suit how you want it to be. For example, you might have to spend hours and hours and hours or pay someone a lot of money to customize the open source software to suit you. For example, a Moodle website or a Moodle VLA for a school. The software is free, but to customize it to how you want it, you have to pay someone to do that. Disadvantages of proprietary software is it's often expensive you can't configure it to however you want it to be. You're just stuck with that particular version. And also, as time goes on and the versions get older, you get less or no support for those versions because they want you to buy the latest version of their software and make more money from you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe. Bye.